Pinky Rum Shop to the left. He said, have a nice day in paradise. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's Charlie there. Yeah. Uh, smile. He said a way to show a kitchen is show yeah. a man. It's Charlie smiling? Yeah, that's uh, Charlie. Right. No, that's not Charlie. Charlie, yeah. Hey, Charlie! Oh, there's Charlie, yeah. There's Charlie over there. What is it? Cotton tree. Yeah, that's the cotton tree. Cocoa beans. Okay, this one please. House. What takes place? What happened in that sweat house? Cocoa beans. And you make that lovely chocolate from developing a pot. When you cut the pot open based on the side of the pot, there will be 30, 40 beans in it. It do not look like chocolate. It do not smell like chocolate, but it must be fermented. So they take all these hundreds of thousands of beans and put it in that wooden compartment. They cover the beans with old bags and leave some banana trees. And you let it sweat, you let it ferment for eight days. It's within the fermentation process, it starts changing color. After being fermented for eight days, they remove all these beans from that section onto these trays. So there is nothing like white chocolate. It must go wrong first. How they store it, they're gonna dry evenly. Each and every hour they will take off the shoes have nice smelly chocolate feet and they push through it. The lines. The following hour they go the opposite direction. So what they are doing, they are turning the beans over all the time. Not only for drying cocoa beans, but they dry cinnamon and clove and bay leaf and so. So as the old saying goes, those who has cocoa in sun, always looking for rain, you can't let it get wet, but it get wet. They're gonna get mold, so the tree goes back underneath the building. You push it back. Yep. You see the hole? Uh -huh. That's the whole essence of it. Let me get a table and then I'm gonna invite you all inside. Huh? You can hold it in your hand. Yes. Here you are, my friends. Thank you. Up. Thank you. And here we are. Yes, the combination of spices. That will grow up in one tree. What the nature does. Spin open like this, expose the mace, you'll see it when you all start going into the interior, well as my people. And then you're going to fall to the ground. We pick it up on the ground. Incredible crop they are, nothing is wasted, we use everything. The outer layer is called a pulp or the peri cap, is used to make that make jam jelly syrups from the pulp. The mace, not the mace you ladies sprung criminals, the spice mace. Mace is used heavily in pharmaceutical industry. To this color, lighter color, they're ready to be harvested. So take a machete and this chop big it. thing is what? Cocoa. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, your beans are inside that thing. Oh, okay. And how many beans are inside of each? One? About 40, 50 uh, beans in wow. there. Just inside. And yeah. how much do you take to make one of those cubes? Not very much. You take about 10 beans. Yeah, when you grind it up. of the peace comb. 
when one batch move out, another batch move in. So we have about 13 Peace Corps volunteers on the island. And that's started with John Kennedy. Yeah, 61. Yeah. That's right. Because he came from our area. That was a very good program, eh? Somebody stole his other farmer plantings to the right. He put another sign in the tree. Continue teething, your luck will run out. He's gonna catch us in. These lands around us only can be sold for agricultural purpose, not residential. You can put a house on it what you call farmlands. Look up on the crest of the hill on our left, you'll see the farmer house way, way to the left now. Oh, okay. Way across here. Yeah, way, way. transportation system here in Grenada. It's basically cabs um, instead of buses. The small ones, they line up here to go to various places around the island. 